Welcome back to our program. Thanks, Nam, for sharing your hobby with us. Next, we have Chang from Chen Fu School. Hi, Chang. Hi. Nam enjoys making pottery. How do you find his hobby? I find it difficult and a little dirty. <laughs> so, what is your favorite hobby? I love making paper dolls. I do it whenever I have free time. Oh, when did you start your hobby? Three years ago, my aunt came back from Germany, and she gave me a paper doll. I loved it right away. Do you share this hobby with anyone? Yes, my sister likes it too. We sometimes have the same ideas and make similar paper dolls. Do you find it difficult? A little, because in order to have unique and beautiful paper dolls, I need to be creative and skillful. I agree. How do you make paper dolls? First, I draw dolls on cardboard and cut them out. Then I draw clothes on paper, cut them out, and finally put them on the dolls. You know, it's very interesting to design clothes for my paper dolls. You can design clothes? A little. In order to design more beautiful clothes, I often learn about the clothes that people in different countries wear. Wow! Do you think you will continue your hobby in the future? Sure. My mum said I will become a great designer, but I'm not sure. My dream is to become a teacher. Did you look sporty as a child, David? No. I often felt tired and sick. I also had seasonal allergies, so I usually had a runny nose and sneezes. Why did that change? I read a book by a famous Olympic athlete. He used to be very weak too, but he changed a lot after three years of training in the gym and outdoors. He spent two hours in the morning and one hour in the evening training every day. He wrote, "Do more exercise." Or continue to be sick, and I thought that's it. He was the person I wanted to become. Oh, it was that easy? No, it wasn't. When I started to run, cycle, and swim, my body really ached. But slowly, I felt better. What do you do now? I play defender for a top football club in the world. We have to pass, tackle, catch, and kick the ball to score as many goals as possible. I use 320 calories every 30 minutes. Wow! So, what do you do to prepare for each match? Three great things to do every day are: eat more healthy food, sleep more, and practice more. Then you'll succeed. Hello, nice to see all of you in our program. Today we will meet Lan, Nam, and V from Nguyen Hong School. First, let's welcome Lan. Hi, Lan. Hello. Have you ever done volunteer work, Lan? Yes, I joined the Green Summer Program in 2013. I've been a member of it for more than two years. Great. So, what do you often do? We often clean up streets, plant trees, and teach English to children in mountainous areas. We also provide blankets for homeless people. Sometimes we encourage people to donate books and clothes to village children. Wow! Why do you do volunteer work, Lan? I volunteer because I want to help people who are in need. I just want to make a difference in the community. I also want to meet new people. Do you benefit from your volunteer work? Of course, I've made many new friends. Volunteering also makes my life happier and more meaningful. It's awesome to see the happy faces of people we have helped. You know, a recent study said that volunteering can help us live longer. <laughs> I agree. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Hope to see you again in our next program. Thanks. Bye. Good 
morning. Welcome to the program Famous People. Today we will get to know about Yuan Xuan Ni, a talented painter and wholehearted professor. He was born on the 4th of April 1914 in Hanoi and died at the age of 93. As one of the first graduates of the Indochina Fine Arts College, now the Vietnam University of Fine Arts, he helped bring Western oil painting to Vietnam. During his life, he produced an enormous number of works of art, including hundreds of paintings about landscapes, social life, and especially women's portraits. Rice fields by the river, Palm Hill, the edge of the well, winter, and markets of peach blossom are some of his famous paintings. In 1942, his famous painting, Young Woman and Lotus, sold when it was first on display. From 1955 to 1981, he worked as a lecturer at the Hanoi Fine Arts College, now the Vietnam University of Fine Arts. In 1990, he received the People's Artist title. Now his works are displayed in the Fine Arts Museum of Vietnam and museums in Paris, New York and Tokyo. Hello, can I ask you some questions? Of course! Where are you from? I'm from Hanoi. Oh, as I know, there are a lot of traditional dishes there, right? Yes! There are so many dishes, such as noodle soup, spring rolls, sweet soup and more. Which one do you like best? Let's see. I love spring rolls. They're so tasty. Spring rolls? What are the ingredients? Well, they're made with pork, eggs, glass noodles and some vegetables, such as onions, carrots and woodier mushrooms. They're often served with fish sauce, which is mixed with garlic, chili, sugar and lemon juice. Wow, sounds tasty. Can you cook them? Yes, most Vietnamese women can cook them. They're a very popular dish. Thanks a lot. Excuse me, are you from Da Nang? No, I'm from Hue. Are there any traditional dishes there? Yes, there are a lot. Che Bui is one of them. Che Bui? What is it exactly? It's a kind of sweet soup, including the pith of pomelos, coconut milk, green beans and sugar. It's one of many delicious Vietnamese desserts, especially in summer. Oh really? I will try it. Thank you so much. Hello, are you from Hanoi? Yes. Can you give me an example of a traditional dish there? Traditional dish? I'm from Tang Chi District, and our traditional dish is called Bank One. What are the ingredients? Well, there's rice, pork, mushroom, and onion. It's often served with fish sauce. Fish sauce? Does it have chili, sugar, and lemon juice? Yes, it does. Last week, we visited the Temple of Literature, the Imperial Academy, and learned about a famous teacher there. Do you remember anything about him, Mai? Yes, he's Chu Van An, also called Chu An. He was a Confucian, a teacher, a physician, and high-ranking Mandarin of the Tran Dynasty. Very good. Anything else, Tuan? Um, he was born in 1292 in Guangli Commune, Tengdam District, now Teng Chi District, Hanoi. He is honored as the ancestor of Vietnamese education and the teacher of every generation. That's right. What about you, Lan? Historical books say that Chu Van An was known as a respectable man of pure moral integrity. Ah! He opened a school named the Huyen Kung in his home village and worked there as a teacher. He had many successful students such as Tham Sum Mang and Le Quat. 
they became high-ranking mandarins after passing the examinations. Excellent! And you know, during the reign of Chen Mingdong, from 1314 to 1329, he was invited to be the deputy headmaster of the Imperial Academy. However, in the reign of Chen Dudong, he resigned and moved to the mountainous area of Fuonghuang in Qiling District, Haizhuang Province, to open a school and live there until he died. Traffic jams are always one of the hottest topics to discuss, especially with a developing country like Vietnam. Traffic jams during rush hour are becoming an alarming problem in the capital of Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. It is not surprising to see long lines of vehicles, mainly motorbikes and cars, struggling to get out of narrow and crowded streets. Some road users even ride their motorbikes on the pavement. It may take people hours to get out of the congestion that can stretch many kilometers. The main cause of this traffic problem is that there are too many people using the roads and many roads are narrow. The second reason is the rapid increase in car use and the deterioration of roads. Also, people's awareness of traffic rules is poor. Everyone tries to find their own way to get out of the congestion. Last but not least, some projects of repairing roads also cause serious traffic jams. Jack and his mom are in the kitchen. Who is your favorite film star, mom? Tom Cruise. I love him. Tom Cruise? Who is he? He is one of the highest paid and most influential actors in Hollywood. Really? He must be very handsome. Yes, he's a very attractive actor. In addition, most critics praise his acting a lot. Has he won any awards? Of course. He has been nominated for three Academy Awards and has won three Golden Globe Awards. Wow, he's so great. Ah, I've just learned about Tom Hanks in my lesson this morning. He has won the Oscar for Best Actor twice. Yeah, both Cruz and Hanks stand as the only Hollywood megastars who still have their names above the titles of films. They are also the only two actors who starred in a series of seven blockbusters that grossed over $100 million. They are so awesome. So what kind of roles does Tom Cruise often play? He often plays the hero in a lot of films, such as All the Right Moves, Risky Business, Top Gun, and the Mission Impossible series. Can you recommend one of his best films? Of course. Mission Impossible 3 is one of his blockbusters. Last month, I visited my friend Na in Hanoi. She took me to Hang Ma Street to join the Mid-Autumn Festival there. It's one of the biggest national festivals in Vietnam, which takes place every 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar. I was very impressed when I got there. The street was full of colorful lanterns in different shapes. That's the reason why Vietnamese people called it the Street of Lanterns. In addition, there were a lot of traditional toys such as star lanterns, animal-shaped lanterns, and masks. Children carried the lanterns and walked from street to street, happily singing. We also saw a lion dance. 
the dancers stirred up the crowd for over two hours with beautiful and attractive dances. We walked with a group of lion dancers in front of us. It was lots of fun. Oh, Na asked me to try mooncake too. It's a Vietnamese traditional cake that is made for this occasion. Wow, it's tasty. It's awesome to see the moon and enjoy mooncakes. Biogas is a form of biofuel produced from animal manure, human waste, sewage, and plant material. So it's a renewable energy source which can be used to substitute fossil fuels such as oil, coal, and natural gas. Nowadays, it can be used to heat homes, fuel stoves, power motor vehicles, and generate electricity. Biogas is one of the most environmentally friendly fuels available today. Using biogas can help us reduce our carbon footprint. In addition, biogas has positive health benefits for residents of rural areas. There is less odor because there is less animal waste, so bad smells can dissipate faster. Furthermore, there is a smaller chance of spreading disease agents born from animal waste to rural residents. Traditionally, biogas is a popular source of fuel for households in developing nations. China is the largest producer of biogas in the world. India and Pakistan are also major producers of biogas. And in Europe, biogas has been produced as an alternative fuel since the 1920s. The most significant biogas producer in Europe is Germany. By the end of 2006, there were about 3,500 commercial biogas plants in Germany. Hello. Today I would like to introduce you a very interesting transport invention, the water car. This vehicle is called the Panther. It is a commercial amphibious car manufactured by Water Car Company, which was founded by Dave March in 1999. The Panther was first released in 2013 after 14 years of development by founder David March. It seats four and can hold a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour on land and 72 kilometers per hour on water, a world record for amphibious cars. It's so amazing to travel on land and on water in the same vehicle, isn't it? The coolest thing is that the vehicle just takes less than 15 seconds to transit between land and boat mode. It is currently being produced in Fountain Valley, California. You can buy Water Cars Panther through their website for about $135,000. The world population is dramatically growing. In Vietnam, Hanoi is also going through a population boom. It has grown by several million people in just a few decades. This leads to the appearance of slums. Right under Long Bien Bridge, Residential District 2 in Phuc Sa Ward, Ba Ding District, is considered one of the capital's slums. This slum, overlooking a polluted canal under Long Bien Bridge, is home to hundreds of laborers who make a living from the Long Bien night market as porters, fruit sellers, or by running various errands. Most of them live in tiny makeshift houses. Though Hanoi and other Vietnamese urban areas have few slums compared to cities in India, Indonesia and Thailand, slums still exist. In 2005, it was estimated that 9 million Vietnamese were living in slums.